Three years ago, priceless Minecraft artifacts were stolen from some of the most prominent bases on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. After stealing the valuable items, the thief covered up his crime by griefing the bases and putting the blame on someone else. When the truth was eventually revealed, he quit the server entirely and took the items with him. But three years later, he's returned and has started a base of his very own. He's convinced many new players to join him in a group named Builder's Haven. Despite all the time that has passed, the veterans that he stole from have not forgotten his misdeeds. They are out for revenge and are planning to destroy the base. Since many of them are longtime friends of mine, they've actually requested my help. Normally, I only grief if I have a good reason, but helping longtime friends finally get revenge is good enough for me. Today, we'll discuss the controversial history behind the group Builder's Haven, explain how and why these events have happened, and then, 10 of us will roll up to the base and finish what was started three years ago. If he's online when we arrive, we have a present for him. They aren't prepared for what's coming, but if you want to be prepared and keep yourself safe online, you should try Dashlane. Dashlane gives you everything to easily manage your passwords and keep them secure. With Dashlane, logging into a website is as easy as clicking login and letting autofill do the rest. It works with addresses and credit cards to make your online shopping seamless and easy. Dashlane works on multiple devices, so if you need to log in to an account on your phone, tablet, or desktop, you'll always have access to your passwords and account info. On top of all that, Dashlane also has a VPN, which stops your ISP from tracking your web activity and allows you to watch shows and movies that are unavailable in your country. If you find this as helpful as I do, you can try Dashlane for free on your first device at dashlane.com fitmc. And if you decide to upgrade to premium, you can use my code fitmc for 10% off. Now then, let's get started. I'm currently on the way to the staging area, but to understand why this grief is taking place today, allow me to explain the events that have led to this. It all started in 2018. A newer player on the server named Beardler had slowly built up his reputation as an aspiring historian. He would receive invites to some of the most secretive bases on the server, with one of them being the Bodecan, which had been founded by 2B2T legend Kane's Law. Throughout the years, Kane's had obtained many rare artifacts, such as written books, illegal items, and weapons belonging to famous players. Beardler took an interest in these items, which were on display at the base. Envy got the better of him, and he wanted to take the items for himself. He came up with a plan. He would steal the items from the base, grief the entire thing, and then hide his tracks by blaming someone else. On May 25th, 2018, he would carry out his plan and destroy the Bodecan, stealing many of its valuables. While the base members started looking for who was responsible, Beardler took the valuables to another base he had been invited to, Block Game Mecca. Since this base also contained precious valuables, he once again was overcome by envy. A few days later, he would also grief Block Game Mecca, taking even more valuables with him. He almost got away with it, but carelessness would be his undoing. While escaping from Block Game Mecca, he had accidentally left a book behind, written by 2B2T player Alpha Computer. Alpha had actually written this book for Kane's Law at the Bodecan, and there was only one copy of it in existence. When it was discovered at Block Game Mecca, the two bases collaborated and found that the only person that had been an active member of both was Beardler. And given his reputation as an aspiring historian, it made sense that he would steal the items and attempt to cover it up. When confronted with overwhelming evidence, Beardler finally admitted that he was behind the griefs of both bases. He announced his plans to leave the server for good and take the items with him. The members of both bases were angry and upset. By him leaving, there was no way for them to take revenge or steal the items back. They came to terms with the entire situation and decided to move on with their lives. But two years later, in 2020, Beardler quietly returned to the server. 
he would gain the trust of new players that had not been aware of his reputation, and together with them, would form a group called Builder's Haven. In 2021, they came together and began building a new base named Bernheim. When word spread that a new base was being constructed, it didn't take long for people to start looking for it. Enter Orson MC, a notorious base hunter on the server. Through various means, he was able to obtain the coordinates to Bernheim. But knowing of Beardler's past, and how his old basemates had never been able to take revenge, he decided to make things interesting. He gave the coordinates to the members of both fallen bases, and after waiting for three years, they finally had a chance to take revenge. And that is why I'm currently traveling in the Nether. Nine members of both the Bodecan and Block Game Mecha have invited me to join them on their grief today, so I'm making my way out to the rendezvous point. The base is over one million blocks out in the overworld, so we have a bit of a journey ahead of us. We're still about 90,000 blocks away in the nether, so I'm grabbing a horse just to speed things up. Our horse came out at the bottom of the nether, so we have to make a staircase so it can get up safely. Alright, there we go, back up top. Now this should be smooth sailing on calm seas. Oh, there's Hermeticlock's horse. Okay, so this is the stop-off point. We have to navigate a few thousand blocks of open nether just to make sure that we're at the location. Now, I hate to do this, but we have to delete the evidence that we were here. We don't want anyone potentially stopping by here, seeing these horses, and realizing something's going on. I think it's a bit over 10,000 blocks in the nether, so it's not that bad. It shouldn't take us too long. I found a player-made tunnel, so we must be getting close, but I just want to say, if you're enjoying the video so far, if you leave a like, you're awesome, and if you consider hitting that subscribe button, you're an absolute legend. Alright, we can't be far now. Oh, there it is. Alright, we're in the right spot. This is the rendezvous point, and yep, we were not the first ones to make it here. Now, we are about 3,000 blocks away from the base's location in the nether, so once everyone is here, we're all going to travel at the same time. Now this is a party. As I mentioned earlier, this group of griefers is a combination of the old members of Block Game Mecha and the Bodekin. Alright, looks like everyone's here. We've got 10 people ready to go. When the amount of griefers coming to your base is in the double digits, you know you screwed up. I'll be griefing on my alt account, K-Pop Bob, and the reason I'm not using my main is because, well, I'll explain next week. Everyone's ready. We got shulkers of TNT. It's game time. All right, let's do this. Imagine being a member of the base and just seeing 10 griefers pop out of a nether portal all at the same time. That would be a frightening experience. The base is about 3,000 blocks away, and there's no tunnels leading there, so we have to fly through open nether. But hey, there's nothing wrong with the scenic route. Here's the base portal. All right, we have to wait for everyone to show up, and then we can all hop in at the same time. The gang's all here, so let's hop in and get this job done. Alright, this tower next to the portal is our first target. Scaffold is a really useful hack for griefing because you get- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Looks like someone lit the TNT a little too early. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting grief. There's so many of us that this is probably gonna take less than an hour. I'd say that looks pretty good for the first tower. Alright, let's ignite. One building down, many to go. Now, I'm just here for the ride, but I can't imagine how everyone else is feeling right now. I mean, they've been waiting three years to finally take revenge, so I'm guessing they're feeling pretty cathartic. Oh yeah, here we go. Next is this massive temple built by the Eternal Aura. This thing is huge. It's gonna take probably half of our TNT. Instead of using Scaffold, I am manually placing this TNT a few blocks apart just to conserve for the rest of the grief. I would consider this a healthy amount of TNT. When it finally goes off, it's gonna look like someone dropped an atomic bomb on this place. The temple is so massive that we're gonna have to be in render distance for probably a few minutes for all of this TNT to go off, so it's gonna take a while. While they continue working on the temple, we're heading off to the next part of the base. Man, look at it go. Yeah, you love to see it. So many explosions in one place. Beautiful. I do feel kind of bad for some of the other builders that were here that didn't really know about Beardler's reputation, but hey, that's 2B2T for you. I guess they're learning the hard way. Oh, here come the withers. Yep, there's a ton of them. This castle is toast. I knew we'd be using a lot of TNT for this grief, but we've been using way more than I thought we would. 
All right, with this bridge taken care of, let's head back to the main part of the base. Would you look at that? The man himself is logged in. All right, Canes, you got this. You've been waiting three whole years for this. Take him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's getting away. All right, we got to give chase. Let's do this. Go, 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 go. All right, I only have a pickaxe on me, so if we can get him to land, then we can use crystals. He has God Apple, so this pickaxe is doing nothing right now, but it's okay. He's wasting fireworks and he's wasting Gapple, so eventually he's gonna have to land. Oh, he's landed. All right, I got one shot at this. Look out, Alpha. Let's do this. Oh, and there it is. There's the combat log, yeah. As soon as he took crystal damage, he's like, nope, I'm out of here with the tactical disconnect. But hey, mission accomplished. Now with Beardler defeated, we have to check over the base one more time to make sure we got everything. It looks like after three years, the members of the Bodekin and Block Game Mecha have finally gotten their revenge. I'm happy I was able to be here today and help out my old friends, because like I said, I don't normally grief unless I have a really good reason to do so. But hey, all I want to say is that if you enjoyed today's video, you better be hitting that like and subscribe button. Also make sure to follow me on my socials, so take it easy, FitFam, and if you plan to play, stay alive out there.